Okay, welcome back to part two. Uh, this will work out a little bit better. You're going to want to make sure you have enough room here to get this through, but it should not take up as much space as it did when we did substitution. All right, well, let's get this copied down in your notes if you have not yet copied it down, and copy it in the middle as usual. And let's make an observation here. Uh, from the last video, we learned that we need to have matching coefficients. But this problem does not have a matching coefficient. Negative 2 and 7, they don't match. And they have to be opposites also. They're, those are opposites, but they're different numbers. 15 and negative 5, well, those are opposites, and those are different numbers here. OK, so here's the note. Get this down. If you do not have a matching opposite coefficient, you have to create one. And to create one, you want to look for two matching variables all right, that are multiples of each other. That's the easiest way to do that. So uh, if I look at this, I see that the negative 5 and the 15, well, uh, what I mean by matching multiples, um, 5 will go into 15, because 5 times 3 is 15. All right, so that will make my life a little bit easier, but I have to do a little more work than I did in the last problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this equation here, and I'm going to multiply the entire equation times, uh, I'm going to multiply it times whatever would give me the opposite of 15y. So 5 times 3 would give me 15. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply every term in this equation. 7x times 3 would give me 21x. F negative 5 times 3 would give me negative 15y. And then you have to multiply the 17 times 3. Don't forget to multiply the 17 times the 3. Because what that's going to do is create the multiple. So that would be 51. I was going to change my colors, but I'll wait to do that. 17 times 3 is 51. You can double check me on that. So this is just a multiple of this equation, which is an equivalent equation, kind of like an equivalent fraction. But we now have, now watch this right here on this top one. I'm not going to multiply the top one times anything. I'm just going to keep that negative 2x plus 15y is equal to negative 32. Now guess what? We can just eliminate straight down because we now have matching opposite coefficients right there. So watch what happens. We add straight down, right? Negative 2x plus 21 gives me 19x. There's 0. Those just canceled out. And then you've got negative 32 plus 51. That's 19. Well, that worked out really nice, too. So divide it by 19. Solve that and you get x is equal to 1. How nice. All right, now you do have to substitute again. So you have to substitute to find y. So I'm going to pick either one of the equations. It's fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, I guess I'll pick the bottom one, 7x minus 5y. I'm going to go 7 times 1 minus 5y equals 17. I'm going to solve this now. I'm going to subtract 7 from both sides. I get negative 5y is equal to 10. I'm going to divide that by negative 5y and hopefully you understand that that works out to be negative 2. So the ordered pair 1, negative 2 is my solution. So there you have it. If you don't have an opposite coefficient, you're going to have to create one. Okay, well, then let's talk about what happens if we have two equations and neither of the, I don't need that shade, sorry about that, neither of the equations have a matching coefficient. All right, well, what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to multiply both. to create opposites. Sorry if my handwriting's a little sloppy right there. 
So when I look at this equation, get that copied down, hit pause if you have to. I'm just going to keep going so I can get the video done and just and not have to do another one. This is our last problem for these notes. What I want to do here is I want to look at the coefficients. Okay, let's take a look and see what we got here. We've got 4x and 3x. Okay, 4x and 3x. And we've also got 2y and 3y. Well, neither of those are multiples. 3 and 4, not multiples. 2 and 3, not multiples. So unfortunately when you have this type of a problem, there's no shortcut other than multiplying both equations times something to create two new, uh, two new, prob two new multiples of the uh, equations so that you have opposite coefficients. So what I want to look at is I want to look at the 3 and the 4 and I want to consider what's the first number that 3 and 4 would go into? Well, it would be 12. And the first number that these two would go into, 2 and 3, would both go into 6. So I'm going to target the y because I'd just rather work with the smaller numbers. So I am going to multiply this equation, the whole thing, so that I can turn the y into a 6. And if I multiply this 2 times 3, that would give me a 6y, but make sure you do it for every term. So this becomes 9x plus 6y is equal to 3. And I'm going to do the same thing for this one. However, I want to multiply whatever I need to multiply that by to create, now listen, watch this carefully, I want to create opposite 6, so I'm going to multiply times negative 2. Don't miss that. I'm going to multiply by negative 2 because 3 times negative 2 would give me that negative 6 for the y. So 4x times negative 2, that's negative 8x, plus 3y times negative 2, that's negative 6y. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Now I can eliminate by adding straight down, and that's what I'm going to do next. 9x plus negative 8x gives me 1x. Well, how nice is that? And then uh, 3 plus 4 is 7. Well, that worked out really nice for me. I have 1x equal to 7. There's my x value. All right, now I'm just going to plug 7 back into one of those equations and have y, and I'll be done. How about that? That works out great. All right, well, let's pick one here. 3x plus 2y equals 1. That's a pretty simple one, so I'm going to pick that one because the numbers are just a little bit smaller and, and why not make my life as easy as possible. So I'm going to pick that one and try to figure out exactly what does y equal. 3 times 7 is 21 plus 2y equals 1. Let's subtract that 21 from both sides and that will give me a negative 20. 2y equals negative 20. And let me scroll down just a little bit, divide by 2. Look what we have here y is equal to negative 10. So our solution to this system is the order pair 7, negative 10. Now unfortunately they're not always going to work out as nice as the ones I did, but that kind of gives you uh, the basic blueprint of what it is that uh, you'll need to be able to do. So I hope that helps. I hope, I hope you like that method better because I know substitution is uh, tough and uh, bring those notes to class and we will get rocking on it next time I see you.